What up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony. We back with another one. NF dropped another one. Lost. <sighs> it's featuring Hobson. So let me just get this on out the way. I haven't heard a Hobson song. I know, I know, I know. I've heard of Hobson. I've heard he is a beast. I've heard he's influenced by Eminem. I've heard he's um, he is someone I should be listening to. I have not got there yet. It's going to be another person that I just get to enjoy all his shit for the first time while his fans got to watch me enjoy it. <laughs> so this will be my first listen at Hobson. And it's on the NF track. Can't be mad at that at all. So Wolfpack, I appreciate y'all, man. Continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you're new here, a little bit longer breakdown slash reaction channel because I play the whole song, try to catch everything if I can. With NF, everything seems to be symbolism. <laughs> so I try to catch all the symbols if I can and things like that. So looking forward to that and seeing what's, what's going on with this video. I'm sure I might miss some things because I am on an NF journey. And I haven't gotten through everything. So I'm sure it's going to be certain things that stand out to y'all as NF fans. They don't stand out to me right away because I haven't got all the way through it yet. So forgive me. Just let me forgive me. <laughs> all right. So let's hop right into this. Looking forward to this video. Looking forward to NF. And I'm looking forward to hearing what Hobson got. See if it make me want to jump on a little journey of his as well. Um, Wolfpack. Let's go. Right off, right off the bat, he's out in the in the mountains, and what he got right there with him, his burdens. Look, self awareness, pride to coat, and yes, I like to wear it. Buttoned up, don't like to let no air in. With a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish. I discovered though when I get home. Pride's a coat, and I like to wear it. Like I, I wear my pride. Like I'm not, and I'm not. I like to wear it. Like I'm a prideful person. <laughs> Keep it buttoned up. Don't let no air in. I don't let anybody in. I don't. I don't let my guard down for anything. I don't let my pride. My pride's always in the way. You want to get to me? You gotta get through my pride first. Don't like to let no air in with a pair of gloves that I hope doesn't perish. I discovered though when I get holes in them and I let joy and I'm in higher spirits. My mistakes are like a screaming parrot, just repeating lyrics. I can barely bear it when I'm lost. Road is narrow. My mistakes are like a screaming parrot, just repeating. Like I keep making the same mistakes over and it keeps repeating because you know a parrot repeats what sounds that are heard. Which is dope. Which I don't get how that works. How they can't talk, but they can. I guess it's just because they can repeat. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure somebody in the comments will let me know. How, did, how does that work? They can't talk, but they can repeat sounds and enunciate things. Like, how does that work? Does that just mean they can't talk on their own? I digress. My bad. But he said... My basically my failures are repeating themselves. I keep making the same mistake. Like a screaming parrot, just repeating lyrics. I can barely bear it when I'm lost. Road is narrow. I'm looking down it like a gun's barrel. Aren't we all searching for the serum that could help us breathe and leave our state of peril? All of us have made defensive scarecrows that we scatter around our fields and treat like heroes when they scare away the things that we should cherish. Cause we're too embarrassed to admit the fears that we're lost. Yeah, but what does it matter if I get to go? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. Just hold on and they'll just hold your horses. Because that was hot. There was a scarecrow theme there. He said, we all scatter our scarecrows around us. Basically as defense mechanisms to not let things in. But sometimes the scarecrows scare away things that we need. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people keep people that we need at arm's length. When they should let them in. You know what I'm saying? Like People rather have yes men around them. Not people that's going to tell them the truth. When you need those people that's going to tell you the truth so that you can know. If everybody just, oh, yeah, yeah, you right. Yeah, you did that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you, you definitely should have smacked dude. Yeah. What, what He did what? He accidentally stepped on a penny. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you definitely was right. In the, no, you was wrong. Why you slap that man? Are you thinking? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes we keep the scarecrows around and it keeps things that are away from us, whether it's our our significant others or our family members and things like that. Sometimes you do got to love people from afar, but sometimes we are our own worst enemy. And with his pride being in the way, it's not going to get any easier. Cherish because we're too embarrassed to admit the fears that we lost. Yeah, but what does it matter if I get to, to admit that the, the real fear is that we're lost? So I don't want anybody telling me that I'm lost because then if I hear it, that means I probably have to admit it. But if nobody's telling me that, they don't know that I know I'm lost. And then I just keep, I can just keep playing, the, keep putting a mask on, per se. We should cherish because we're too embarrassed to admit the fears that we lost. Yeah, but what does it matter? I get to combat him inside of me. He's a person who cares. The pain can be flat. I get messy when I start to get rattled. The heart of a savage and quiet when I lurk in the shadow. There's something on that up. I don't want to be over dramatic, but look. The heart of a savage, but, um, what he said? He said, the. Uh, He's a canvas, man. He gets to paint it however he wants, which is basically what he does when he raps and all of that. So he said something else. Like that. Yeah, but what does it matter? I get to combat him inside of me. He's a person who canvas the paint can be flat and get messy when I start to get rattled. The heart of a savage, I'm quiet when I lurk in the shadows. Something. On the heart of a savage, but I'm quiet when I when I lurk in the shadows. <laughs> Oh, man. I don't want to be over dramatic, but look at the data. It's obvious that humans are fragile. We tend to get mad at the ones that call us out, but the fact is, we need someone that'll be honest when we fly off that handle. I admit, I throw a fit when I begin to unravel. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. Sometimes he said, Look at the data. Sometimes we need somebody that's going to pull us back when we fly off the handle. If you out there going crazy, like, I want my boys to tell me, Hey, bro, you, you messing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, call you out on it. You know what I'm saying? And my grandfather has a line, and he says, basically, never strip a man naked and don't give him anything to cover up with. Basically saying, don't ever tear somebody down and not give them, you know, ways to build up with, to crawl out. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, because sometimes honesty without compassion is brutality. So you can be, oh, yeah, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just, I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, okay, but it's a way you can say it and get it through. Without it being brutal and, you know what I'm saying, hurtful to the other person. Honesty without compassion is brutality. Write that down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get in there. Let's help with the fact is we need someone that'll be honest when we fly off that handle. I admit I throw a fit when I begin to unravel. Keep my wits been off the grid, but now I'm back in the saddle. My intent is not to rent, I like to own what I value. I can take you on the fence and maybe pick up the paddle. I like the world against the current, that's the way that I travel. Opposite of what the grand has got the brain of a rebel. Take initiative, I'm diligent on every level. I never can settle, I like to keep my foot in the pedal. Yeah, I love the pack arenas and all. But what I really want to do is learn to handle my thoughts and put the reins on them short. Uh, his beats, bro, that just the build. He always got to like... It like just builds, starts slow, and it just builds to that boom. Yeah, shit is crazy, man. And the fact that the producer commented on my video, I didn't know who he was. I just gave him a thumbs up. Somebody said, you do know that's the producer that produced the beat to the search, right? I'm like, hell no, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I hit him back, like, hey, man, you just going to drop by on the page and not tell me you produced this shit that I'm screaming in my house about? Like, hey. And if he did this one too. And you killed it again, my boy. Damn. But um, he said some shit here. Where he said he goes, he flows against the current. And he says, basically, he goes against the grain. In the last video, he said, basically, at the end of the video, I was confused on like what it meant. And y'all helped me out with saying, is that he's in his own lane. He's going against traffic. You know, he's walking towards traffic while everybody's going one way. He's going the other way and he knows his lane and he's causing chaos as he's doing that. So that goes with the whole goes against the current and goes against the grain thing. It's all connected. It's all connected. Yeah, let's go. When rebel, keep my wits been off the grid, but now I'm back in the saddle. My intent is not to rent, I like to own what I value. I can take you on the fence and maybe pick up the paddle. I like the world against the current, that's the way that I travel. Opposite of what the grandest got the brain of a rebel. Take initiative, I'm diligent on every level. I never can settle, I like to keep my foot in the pedal. Yeah, I love the pack arenas and all. But what I really want to do is learn to handle my thoughts and put the reins on them, show them I'm the one that's the boss and pull them back when they get out of hand and breaking their jaws. I'm taking the flaws and me I can never revolve and pull a bane on them. Ask them, oh, you think you're in charge? You all right. I saw something there. So right now, uh, I'm going to go back to the lyrics. Right now, he is climbing. But it's like, is he, he's climbing a mountain. So is it like he's climbing his way to the top? 
Like he's trying to get the top, get to the top of the mountain. But I just saw some balloons back there in the back. I paused it again when when I get there. But he um said some more shit. I'm on every level. I never can settle. I like to keep my foot in the pedal. Yeah, I love the back arenas and all. But what I really wanna do is learn to handle my thoughts and put the reins on them, show them I'm the one that's the boss and pull them back when they get out of hand and breaking their jaws. I'm taking. So he said I wanna um. He said, I love to pack arenas, but I want to really get control of my thoughts and get control of my emotions. Like, that's a real victory. That's what I really want to do because my thoughts and my emotions is what's keeping me trapped in my mansion. You know what I'm saying? And the only way I'm coming out is in my therapy sessions through my music. Shit like that. So, basically, it's just saying, like, I want to get more, have more self, be more self-aware and have more self-control over myself and my emotions. And I'll be much happier because right now they control me and they can be scary. I can be sad. I can be mad. All that shit. And it's just, I don't have control of them. I hate on my thoughts and put the reins on them. Show them I'm the one that's the boss. and pull them back when they get out of hand and breaking their jaws. I'm taking the flaws. They told me I can never revolve. Y'all see them balloons back there? They're like in the back up in the hill right there. Bow. I don't know what that means yet. And pull a bane on him, ask him, oh, you think you're in charge? You ought to know better. Ain't no way I'm going to fuck. <laughs> he said he wants to get control of his emotions and pull them in whenever he's about to lose control and be, and pull a bane on him and say, you think you're in charge? I remember in Batman, uh, Bane said that to, uh, to Batman. So you think you're in charge? <laughs> that was my impersonation. I thought it was all right. That was my first time trying it. I thought it was good. <laughs> Uh, the traits that I want, they say I can't bane on them. Ask them, oh, you think you're in charge? You ought to know better. Ain't no way around it. Applause the traits that I want. They say I can't afford what it costs, but I, I, I manifested this. Failing's how you grow and learn your lessons, kids. Take the worst and try to make the best of it. Cause when you fail, just know that it's a test in it. You can learn to pick yourself back up again. Feelings are how you grow. And just remember when you fail that it's a test in it. Like, you don't be, don't be afraid to try. Once something is makes you fearful enough where you don't even try, then you have truly failed. Because failure has, or actually fear has killed more dreams than failure ever has. So if you're ever just too fearful to even try, you'll never get it done. But if you at least try and you fail, then at least you've picked up something like, okay, maybe if I do it this way, you know what I'm saying? You can try it again, but without trying at all, you'll never get it done. That was dope. That was dope. Try to make the best of it, because when you fail, just know that it's a test in it. You can learn to pick yourself back up again and train your brain to not be such a pessimist. It's okay to make mistakes, just don't forget that there's a high road, but I skip the exit when I'm lost. Yo! Hold up. So I was wondering what them burdens were in the back, but it was Hobson because he died, I guess, on his way to the top. And he died with all his burdens. You know what I'm saying? So they were still there. And now, and F has found them and woke them up. Them burdens are still there. That's dope. I see that. Now, this is my first listen to Hobson, so let me get ready. These burdens are heavy, and I'm hoping it don't bury me. I used to be joyful and skip so merrily, but now I'm too cautious and tiptoe carefully. My mind <laughs> I used to be, what do you say, happy and, like, basically I used to be so happy and carefree, now I tiptoe carefully, like I walk on eggshells, like I'm worried about everything. And he said, I hope these burdens don't bury me. Like, everything that I'm worried about, I hope they don't kill me. And it, it, it's actually what ended up happening, because he was dead before it ended up brought him back. Left. I used to be joyful and skip so merrily, but now I'm too cautious and tiptoe carefully. My mind left, and it's nowhere to be found. Am I a big old parody? Cause it's no fair to me. And now I'm at the point where I'm spinning the grand a week on hypnotherapy. Look, I'm trying to watch the <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. It was something there. He said, My mind is lost and found. Am I a parody? Lost and found is the NF album? I think it's an album. Then you say, you know, so am I a parody? Am I a parody of that album or am I a parody of being lost and found? And then he says, now I'm spending over a thousand on hypnotherapy. Now I'm spending over a thousand on therapy sessions. Come on, man. Y'all telling me them ain't, <laughs> them ain't, you know what I'm saying? That ain't like an NF scheme right there where he's like paying homage to NF right there. Lost and found therapy sessions. 
It's there. It's there. It's there. And I'm just getting into the journey, y'all. Just wait till I really get his story. Wait till I really grasp it all. Let's go. So carefully. My mind left, and it's nowhere to be found. Am I a big old parody? Cause it's no fair to me. And now I'm at the point where I'm spending a grand a week on hypnotherapy. Look, I'm trying to wash away my sins. I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends. And if I ever take a nail, then they might grit. And they all want to see me stay in the cage I'm in. So when it come to anybody, there's no trust for no one. Man, so what? My whole plan is to go nuts. My shoulder's ready for most drugs. I'm gonna judge anybody trying to enter my circle with no love. Hold up. My sanity's gone. <laughs> First he said, um, my family, if I took an L, they might they might smile about it. Like if I ever took a loss and I failed, they would be happy about it. They want me to stay in my cage. They want me to stay like basically where I'm at. They don't want me to grow. They don't want me to to leave where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that was dope. And he said, my shoulder's ready for more shrugs. Like me just like not giving a fuck. Like, I'm, me not caring. You know what I'm saying? Like my shoulder's ready to be like, all right, I don't care no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ones that ain't my friends, and if I ever take a look, I'm trying to wash away my sins. I got a group of loved ones that ain't my friends, and if I ever take a nail, then they might grit, and they all want to see me stay in the cage I'm in. So when it come to anybody, there's no trust for no one. Man, so what? My whole plan's to go nuts. My shoulder's ready for most drugs. I'm gonna judge anybody trying to enter my circle with no love. Hold up. My sanity's gone. I rather. I have love for no one. I got family that's not my friends. I have love and trust for no one. Anyone trying to get in my circle. I'm judging them. Like, I'm not letting them in. What are you doing? What are your intentions? What exactly, like, fear? So in his mansion, he's he got the same, he has the same rooms that NF has in his mansion. Fear, you know what I'm saying? Regret and all that shit, all of that. And he's like, y'all not getting in here without me letting y'all in here. And I'm not going to do that. To be torn from this planet, they planted me on your stats a reward. I'm actually bored with having a sore heart. It's torn apart from a family that I don't have anymore. Now hold up. I was living so oblivious. I'm bored with having a sore heart. It's torn apart from a family that I don't have anymore. My heart's sore from being ripped apart and also from being beat up and abused by the family that I don't have anymore because they switched up on me. We're having a sore heart. It's torn apart from a family that I don't have anymore. Now hold up. I was living so oblivious with millions. It really was a pity, huh? A pity. Huh? It's kind of funny what a penny does mixed in with a mini buzz. I feel stuck. Life got me by the neck with a plate. I was so oblivious with millions, but it's crazy what a what a penny does with a little buzz. Like when you when you get a little bit of money and you get a little bit of fame, fortune, and fame. Now he feels stuck. Whew. Hobson. <laughs> kind of funny what a penny does mixed in with a mini buzz. I feel stuck. Life got me by the neck with a blade against it. Cause I was running late for the train and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance. So I'm gonna act out like a raging misfit. And every verse I lay go stay sadistic. You wanna hate me? Good, great, terrific. You'll never see the day when my anger's dismissed. You better go and change your wish list. Cause I yeah, manifested Woo! this. He said, you'll never see the day where my my rage is dismissed. Like You'll never see the day where I'm not angry because I was raised in, with like all this anima all of this animosity and everything comes from what I've been through. He said, life got me, life got a blade in my neck. Like, life's ready to take me out. So you'll never see me angry because I'm always fighting against everything. Let me hear that again. Pain and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and got a neck with a blade against it. Cause I was running late for the train and missed it. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance. So I'ma act out like a raging misfit. The only thing I feel is pain and vengeance, so I'ma act out like a raging misfit. Y'all hear and both of it, he is I don't know if this is his his scheme, like the way he does. Like cause when he first started off, it was like like the like the NF scheme and flow. You know what I'm saying? It was like the da da da. Da, 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 da. Like that's what NF does so far from what I've heard. Then he builds up. And it seems like Hobson used that as well. Unless this is just the way he flow, I wouldn't know because I don't listen to him. But right now it seems like they got the same flow on this beat. And every verse I lay go stay sadistic. You wanna hate me? Good, great, terrific. You'll never see the day when my anger's dismissed. You better go and change your wish list, cause I yeah, manifested this. Do not treat me like some adolescent kid. I am praying to the Lord with the book of James, hoping he go at my testament. This dark cloud, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't have to let them in. I done made mistakes day to day. You probably can't relate. I just ain't the same when I'm lost. Yeah. When I'm lost. When I'm, when I'm lost. <laughs> that was 
so dope. Let me hear that last bar part again because there was some stuff there about a little bit about God, and we know that NF is. You know what I'm saying, Christian. Do not treat me like some adolescent kid. I am praying to the Lord with the book of James, hoping he go at my testament. This dark. I'm praying to the Lord with the book of James, hoping that he go at my testament. I don't know that one. I can't. I don't. I don't get what he means. I don't know if Hobson is like a like a Christian type. You know what I'm saying? If he speaks on his religion when he raps or what or not, but um. I don't know, from what I've seen, his album covers, he looked like he possessed and all that stuff. I I wouldn't pin that on him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But if not, if not, then this would be a, almost like I'm with NF and I know what NF does. Like he hasn't, he hasn't cussed. He hasn't cussed. Hobson hasn't cussed. I, I'm assuming he cusses any other time because somebody would have said something about that, but since he's on the track with NF, it's just respect to NF, like saying, okay, I respect what you do, I respect what you stand for, you know what I'm saying, I'm a, I'm a do, what they say, in Rome, do as the Romans do, I'm a do like you, not cuss, and that's dope, that's dope he was, he, that he was able to do that, I didn't even pay attention, I don't think he cussed, he didn't cuss. I am praying to the Lord with the book of James, hoping he go at my testament. This dark cloud, that's my residence. Demons knocking, I don't have to let him in. I done made mistakes. This dark cloud, that's my residence. Like this dark cloud that I live in. And Clouds was the first song too. And the clouds that he was in, that's where he lived. That's NF was in. So we're gonna see. Day to day, you probably can't relate. I just ain't the same when I'm lost. Yeah. When I'm lost. So when they finally get to the top and they think it's going to be different, they see a bunch of other burdens of people. This just looked like, it looked like a, like a graveyard, like other people that died on this journey to the top, other people that died on their journey, died with their burdens. You know what I'm saying? That's what I get out of it. That's what it seems like to me. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Most people got to a certain spot. A lot of people got to this point right here and died with their burdens. They didn't continue to go forward. They didn't fight through. That's dope. That's dope. Is that it? That's it. Woo! So, Wolfpack, that was dope. Ugh. You killed that beat again, bro. NF killed it again. Hobson. I like him. That was dope. I don't know if that is like what he does, like his style, or if he stepped up for NF or what, but that was dope. He didn't cuss. He had that same flow pattern, rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Rhyme pattern as NF. And that went perfectly with the beat. If that's if that's the way he raps, then he picked like a perfect collab. Like, it was perfect because they killed it. So, yeah, man. Lost. Like, he's happier just being being lost. The dark cloud is where they live at. Like, the dark cloud for Hobson is where he lives. And the mansion for NF is where he lives. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know the mansion's not pretty. And it's full of things that he wants to avoid and get away from. And lock doors and stuff that he doesn't even want to go in. In the basement, he doesn't go down there and all that type, you know what I'm saying? Um, so the hops in the dark cloud is where he's most comfortable. Like, and he's saying, I don't know what I would do when I, I don't know how I feel when I'm not feeling lost. That's dope. That's dope. Dope as hell. Um, comment to me what y'all felt this, what the video was about, what the song's about. Comment to me about Hobson. Comment to me about NF and what y'all think this mixtape is going to be. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about it. I think I got this one pretty good. I got this one way better than I got Clouds. <laughs> I got this one way better than I got Clouds. Because Clouds, him popping up and causing chaos is like something I just, I don't know, man. It just didn't hit me. But yeah, he was popping up out of nowhere, causing chaos everywhere he went. Popped up in the house, putting his hand through the wall and all of that. And 
at the end walking against the traffic like everybody's going one way he's going another because he knows his lane and causing chaos in the midst of it it was dope it was dope so yeah another one and if there's another one this mixtape is going to be crazy so yeah comments to y'all like comment subscribe share if you're new here go ahead and subscribe all right wolf pack we'll be back let's go